we haven't had a wind event in weeks. Although we're fixing to have one this weekend. So you can see lots of teeny tiny shells. But quite a few scallops. Oh, and some bittersweets. That's a pretty scallop. Nice bittersweet. Shelling the dog days of summer in the Bar Beach, Florida. Another scallop. Oh, there's a really nice one. I guess there was another one right under it. Oh, broken. So close. Pick everything up, keep walking. I don't know, maybe in a little bit we'll walk right along the, the ledge there, see if there are any shells rolling. Nice scallop, here's another one. Sunray Venus, just a broken shell. Here's another bittersweet. And another scallop. Grab that piece of styrofoam. But look at that, that one I saw pop out, that one's pretty cool. A couple pretty scallops we'll grab, the calico. Takes so many, we'll just talk scallops here for a moment. So many of these tiny to small scallops to make, you know, a candle or something. I guess that'll keep me out here walking. Every time someone at home says, need more shells, okay. Oh, I'll be back in a couple days. Now, a lot of you might be saying, hang on, a little piece of paper. This doesn't look like some of the shelling we've done in the past. Now this is what you can expect if you come when there aren't any wind events taking place. Walking very slowly, taking, checking out the minis in, in the rack line. That one. That one's really cool. A couple more. some cool spots on it. This one a whole one. There you go. A white one. Oh, there you go. That's a nice one. It's like a dreamsicle one. 
nice dot on the hinge. Orange up here. That's a pretty one. You're walking along regardless of the light, you know, color like that just pops out. Look at that. Easy to see those, even you know, even though they're small, you can see those as you're walking along. Oh, well, look at this little. <laughs> this little Imperial Venus. Some nice colors on, on this one. Oh, look at this. Nice colors on that calico. Slipper snail. There's a the grass off of there. Scallop and a bittersweet. Bunch of scallops here. So close. Piece of a banded tulip. Now I am going to go look in the water here. Find a little pocket like this. The shells are piled up. A lot of the times you'll turn, look at the water. And the reason you have shells here is because they've been pushed up overnight. So let's go down and see. Hang on, grab one more scallop. Let's go down and see if there's anything in the water. Yeah, I can see some down there. Well, the waves are, are breaking a little bit better here. We're gonna find a spot maybe a little bit farther down where it's a little calmer. We can walk along the edge. here this morning we weren't going to have the heavy rack line so I didn't have you know high expectations of finding shark eye shells and you know a lot of average to larger size shells every day I need to get some steps in so I thought I'd come over here and see what was on the beach oh so close Olive. I was also hoping the surf forecast said it would be a little calmer than this. I thought maybe we'd get in the water. We'll just keep walking the beach or maybe we'll find a, a dusky cone. I haven't found one in at least a month. And they're really tiny. They're really tiny so sometimes you'll find them washed up in, you know, a footprint like that. All right, let's keep walking. Nice scallop and a clam. There's a talon. Well, there's a little bit 
bigger scallop. Okay, so there's a person here with, oh look at that, we almost walked, <laughs> we almost walked past that, a distorsio. So there's a person with a life jacket on, snorkeling, so I had to stop and look. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, nice. I gotta watch it, I'll drop it. Gorgeous. And that just, I mean, washed up not too long ago. Because we walked through here. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and click on the rectangle for the next Beach Woman Dad video.